So the last step for your lighthouse drawings is to paint the water in the sky in the background. So when you're painting them, you're going to want to use different color blues because if you use all one color blue and fill this whole space with all one color, it's going to be really boring because it'll all be the same. And we want to give it a little more variety than that. So it'll also help us tell the difference between the sky and the water. So to make different colors, what we're going to do first of all is watercolor paint. So we need to dip our brush in the water. And then we need to dip our brush in the paint. So you should have just a little paint and a lot of water on your brush. If you have too much paint on your brush, it's going to be thick and it's going to be dark and it's going to cover up the designs that you made and they won't show through. So I did a lot of water, just a little paint, and then I can brush it on my paper and you can see there's a nice blue color. And if I add more water, it'll get lighter. So you can see how it gets lighter up top. And then I'm not going to want all the same color blue. So if I want to mix blue, what I can do is take some of this blue and put it in the lid. And then I can rinse my brush and get a different color. Maybe I want kind of a blue-green. So I'll get some green on my brush and I'll add that to the blue I just put over there. Oh, that's a little, little too much green, I think. I want more of a blue-green, so I'm going to add a little more blue again. Mix that up, and then I can try it out on my test paper and get kind of a nice blue-green color. And again, you have that so you can test it out, so you can add, if I want it to be more blue, I can add some more blue to it. And try it out on my paper, that's more of a blue-green. And then if it's too dark, I can just add some water to my brush. And get some nice lighter colors. I can do the same thing if I want more of a purplish blue. So I can get some paint on my brush, get some blue in the lid, and then rinse my brush again. Notice I'm rubbing my brush on the edge, I'm not tapping it. It'll keep from spraying water everywhere if you do it that way. Alright, and I'm going to add a little purple, and I'm going to stir it in. Stir it together with my blue. And I'm going to brush on my paper and I get kind of a purplish blue. So right here I've got already one, two, three, four different color blues plus this lighter color here. So five different blues that I can use to fill in the waves in the sky on my paper. So now that I know how to mix them, I'm going to actually paint on my design. So this paper is just a scrap paper. I'm going to use that. I'm going to keep it so that I can use it to test out my paints to see if I have the color blue that I want. And I'm going to start actually painting my design. So I'm going to start with the water, and I think I'm going to start with just um, rinsing my brush, and I'm going to get some of this light blue that's right here, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the darker blue, and then I'm pretty sure this is going to be a little too dark on my paper, so I'm actually going to get a little more water on my brush, and then drag it on the edge so it doesn't drip on my paper at all. And then I'm going to paint in the first wave. You can paint right over top of the crayons because the wax in the crayons will make it so that the watercolor paint doesn't stick. It's called a wax resist. So you can paint right over the crayons and you can see how the water just kind of drags off of it. I'm going to fill in this whole first wave. Notice that when I'm painting, I'm just using the very tip of the brush. I'm not using the whole thing down like this. I'm not pressing hard like that because if you do that, it will cause two problems. One, it will ruin the brushes. And two, it will make it so you have less control over what you're doing. And it will make it so your artwork looks messier. So I'm just going to paint that in. Just like that. And then I want a different color blue for this one. And usually when colors get closer to you, when things get closer to you, um, they get brighter. So I think I'm going to use a little bit brighter blue. I think I'll use this blue-green that I mixed up before. And I think I want a little more blue in with it, so I'm going to add a little more blue. Get a blue-green. And I'm going to fill this in. See, it's a little bit more green than that last one. It's not, not a huge difference, but enough that I can tell it's different than the last color I used. Get some variety in there. And again, I'm just using the tip of my brush. I'm not pressing hard. 
And you notice I didn't even have to go back to the paint at all. I only fill in this entire thing without ever going back to the paint because I have plenty of water in my brush and plenty of paint in my brush that it will actually cover the entire section that I'm doing without ever going back to dip it back in again. I'm getting over here I can notice my brush is starting to get a little dry so I can dip it in the water and get just some water but I probably won't need too much more paint. Mm, feels like it's getting a little lighter over here so maybe I'll just get a tiny touch of paint just a tiny bit because I don't want it to be um, too dark. So I got a tiny touch and that looks like it's just enough to finish that off there. Notice how I'm going right to the edges of the waves so it fills in the entire wave. There's no white left around the ed edges of it. I think for the next one I'm going to use kind of a purplish blue. I mixed up a purple blue up here earlier. I think I'll use that for my next wave. Take my time color it in nice and neatly, go right over that crayon, use just the tip of the brush and paint that in. You can tell I'm starting to kind of run out of paint on my brush so I'm going to get a little more but you want to be careful you don't get too much. A lot of people will get too much too quickly. I'm going to paint that in. Take your time with it. Use just the tip of the brush kind of dragging the brush where you want the paint to be. Notice I'm not pushing the brush. If you push it that way, it's going to make it so that your bristles on your brush go all different directions. It'll make it nice and sloppy. So if you pull the brush, it'll fill in your entire painting and you have not lots of control over where you're painting. Alright, and then for my last one up front, I want it to be nice and bright. So I think I'm going to go even more purple in there and just a little bit of blue. Uh, it looks like I need more purple. Nice dark purple blue right up front here. And you can see since I pressed nice and hard with my with my crayons that the water just rolls right off of it. I'm going to keep pulling it across Fill this whole front section in with this nice dark blue. Fill it all in. And I can see that it's starting to get a little lighter over here, but I've got kind of puddles over here. So I'm going to, instead of dipping more in my paint, I'm going to drag it from over there and pull it across the paper. Just gently with the tip of my brush, gently drag it across. I don't want to have big puddles on here, just need enough to paint my paper. My brush is a little too dry to finish that, so I'm going to get just a touch more. And there we go, we've painted the waves. So the last thing I'm going to do is paint the sky. With the sky, I want it to be a different color than the waves because then you can tell it's the sky and not the water. So I want to use a lighter color. So there's two ways to make a lighter color. One way is to actually use a lighter color. This blue is lighter than all the rest. So I can use a lighter color. The other way is to use more water on your brush and hardly any paint. So I'm going to use more water and less paint to make a light sky. So I'm going to use lots of water on my brush and just a tiny bit of paint. I think even that I have a little too much, so I'm going to dip it back in the water, get some of that off of there, and then I'm going to paint. You can see it's really light. And I think that that's pretty nice. It's nice and light, but it's almost too light. You can hardly see it, so I'm going to add a little more paint to my brush. Hmm. Now it's getting a little dark, so I'm going to spread it out. Use the water in my brush to really spread it around. And when I'm painting again, I can go right over top of the crayon because I press nice and hard and it will cover that up. Got a nice light blue. And I can also paint over this part where the light is because that yellow crayon is going to stay. And I'm going to cover it up with this light blue paint that I have. Again, I'm just using the tip of my brush to paint with. I'm pulling the paintbrush to get all that water, that paint on, 
I'm going to dip it in again because I'm running out of water on my brush. I can feel it's getting harder to paint with. And then I keep going. Using just the tip of the brush. And I've got some puddles here, so I'm going to use that to fill in my other space that I have. Instead of dipping it back in the water, I'm going to use some of those puddles so I don't have big puddles in my picture. Fill that all in. Need a little bit more in here. Fill in that whole space, being real careful around the edge of the lighthouse so I don't accidentally paint my lighthouse a color. Paint it all in. And then I have my entire design done. I have my blue sky, my blue waves. And then we just need to take it and very carefully carry it with two hands over to the drying rack so that it can dry.